Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sierra on Linux Ubuntu. Now, this is going to require you to download some things, so I made you a Google Drive folder just for you guys to download everything so that you can successfully install macOS Sierra on your Linux machine. So download everything, and then we'll get right into the tutorial on how it works. Okay, now that I have all of the files downloaded from Google Drive, I'm going to open up Terminal now. And so inside Terminal, you're going to want to open up the file that has the extension DOCX, which you downloaded in the Google Drive download. And you're going to type in these two lines here. You're going to paste it here. And then you're going to type in your password. And it's going to load it. And then you want to install the second one. And click enter. And then type in your password again. And you're going to just go through the download here. You do not need to enter a license key. Just click next and then click install. I will come back to you once it is finished installing. Okay, VMware is done installing. However, it does not natively support macOS, so you have to make it so that it does. So what you're going to want to do is open a brand new terminal window so that you have lots of room and type in CD space, and then in the download that you did, this folder called Unlocker 208, simply just drag it over, and then click Enter, and then type in LS. Now what you want to do is you want to type in chmod plus x, and then this file right here, the name of this, so I'm just going to copy it. Oh, shoot. chmod plus x, and then I'm going to paste the file name, and then enter. So after you do this one, up here, the chmod plus x, lnx install sh, you want to do sudo, space, and then drag over the file from right there, and then click enter. And it's going to do all this text and whatever, and then when it is done, which it should be momentarily, then we can finally boot up VMware. I'm going to close this window, because we need as much RAM available as we can get. And that's it. And it says finished here, so we're going to close this. And I'm going to close everything else except my screen recorder, and I'm going to open up VMware. Now, as you can see, I already have a Mac OS 10.8 here. So now that VMware is open, we're going to create a virtual machine. Click the Browse button and locate that ISO file you downloaded earlier from Google Drive. Then click Next. And then select Apple OS X and then select Mac OS 10.12 and click Next. I'm going to put my virtual machine on my external hard drive. I'm going to name it Sierra Bell. I want to. I'm going to click open and then we're going to click next. 40 gigabytes is the recommended size, that's fine. Customize hardware, this is where I'm going. Memory for this virtual machine I always set to 372 because on my old computer, which this is currently running on, it can't afford more than that at the moment. Although 3 gigs might not seem like a lot of memory to Mac OS, it definitely is. And I'm going to specify the monitor settings to fit my current monitor, and I'm going to click Close. And then we're going to click Finish. And as long as you have that checkbox checked, it will boot the virtual machine immediately. And then just wait for the Apple logo and then the installer. And then I will be back. Okay, so it has booted, and now we have the installation to deal with. So you just go through the first menu, you know, select your language and whatever like that. What I will do, once I have the installation done and it, I can verify that it runs, 
I'm going to swap out the RAM on my new computer for my old one so that I can use 12 gigs total and put about 6 to 8 in for this virtual machine. So, either way, from here we click continue and continue again. And then up here you want to click agree. Now, this is where you have to pay attention. So, you, there's no hard drive you can install on here. There's just a DVD, but you can't do that. So, you have to click up here on utilities and then disk utility. And then a window will open. And you select VMware Virtual. So this is the one you want. And then click Erase. And then make sure it says Mac OS Extended. I'm going to name this hard drive Sierra Bella. And then just click Erase, and it's going to format it. Done. And so click Done, and then click the red X. And now it shows up as a hard drive, so we can install on Sierra Bell. And so now it's going to install, and I will come back to you guys when it is finished. Okay, so everything works here. I can show you, if I go here and I click About This Mac, it'll show the information it currently knows about this virtual machine. And the fact that it doesn't even know it's a virtual machine is good. See, it's got two cores, processor of 3.23 gigahertz, 3 gigabytes of, DD, of DR RAM, um, display graphics of 3 megabytes. Um, I can open up an application here, like I'll open up Launchpad, which shows all the apps. Now, I'll admit, I've never really used Mac OS, and so I'm not familiar with it, like, in a really involved sense, but this is Mac OS Sierra running on Linux Ubuntu 17.04, and I think that this project can be considered a huge success. One other thing I forgot to mention, um, when you go to, like, close the virtual machine, what you want to do is you want to click on the Apple and you want to click shut down, because if you just close the window, it will, um, save the suspended state, which, yeah, you can do that if you want, but I've had that not work on Windows, so I just think it's safer just to shut the virtual machine down first. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Um, as I said in the description, I'm trying to re-jailbreak my iPhone, and this running Mac OS is part of the process. So, click up here to subscribe, click over here to see one of my other videos, and drop a like on this video. Um, let's shoot for like 3k likes, and let's try and reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2017. Can we make that happen? I think we can. See you next time. Peace out.